Okay, so we cut out some bats, but we need to show you how to draw it so that if you don't have the handout, you can make your own. Now we're done with our pastels, so we want to make sure that they're back in the baggie and it's uh, all they're, they're all in there, even if they broke. And when we do a bat, you don't have to do this in marker. I'm just doing it so it'll show up. We want to think about its center line. So if you cut this out of a piece of paper, you could uh, fold it in half and do half on each side. But uh, we're just going to draw it on a regular piece of paper and then just cut it out. You can decide if you want to do it the other way. So for my body of my bat, I'm going to come up at like a point here. No big deal. And then I want to do his little ears on the top. Okay. And since this is all going to be black, I don't have to worry. Maybe I want to color it in a little bit here. But that's up to you on how you want to make it black. So we're going to go ahead and do that part right there. So it looks like the tip of a pencil down at the bottom with his little pointy ears at the top. And then when we make the wings, we don't want it too close to the ears because that would be his head. You don't want his ears next to his head. You want his head to be separate. So I think I'm going to come down to about here. And I'm going to stretch on out with an upside down U. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, come over to it from the other side of the body where the point is with some more upside down U's. So the same direction. I'm going to go one, two, three. You can do four. Okay. I'm going to try to make it match on this side. I'm going to come around, try to make it about even. But it's okay if it's not. And then I'm going to come around to the other side of the body. One, two, three. Now on that one, I definitely didn't match up, but I can fix it. And when you cut it out, you can also trim it a little bit. So if you're going to do a little bat, maybe you don't want to be that detailed. Put our little ears on the top. And we'll just do a little pencil tip on the bottom before we fill them in black. One, two, three. And we'll do our other wing. One, two, three. And then fill them in black and cut them out. Well, when we were cutting out the ones on the handout, we noticed that we weren't really getting very good pointy wings. So it's okay if you need to, when you're doing it with the scissors, and you end up cutting off just a little bit, so it's a little bit sharper looking tip. I think it looks pretty good. Now, I didn't even cut all of my bats out, and Max didn't cut all of hers out either. I still ended up with a few left, and she didn't, she has a few more. So, what we want to do from here is go ahead and put them on our, our night sky moon picture that we have made. And um, I'm going to show you an extra little trick to make them look dimensional. As you can see how they're sort of they're sort of flopping off the page. We can keep them that way. So we're going to go ahead and get our glue sticks, and I'll show you that last thing that you can do with your bats. 